We're here in Brick Lane. What rhymes would say Brick Lane? Pave Dick Pain. <laughs> no, pay Dick Pain. Save Dick. Pay! Gave Dick Pain. Gave Dick Pain. Yeah, that's gave it. Dick. Save, Save Brick Lane. Lane. By not doing that, you gave Dick Pain. Yeah, Richard's a long-time resident of Brick Lane. He is a British Bangladeshi. He's seeing the natural character of his street being destroyed. Not just the street, but the general East London area, which is like Bangladeshi dominated, British Asian dominated. Not because of people moving in, but because of corporate buildings encroaching on green spaces, housing development areas, which are actually useful to residents as opposed to offices, which is what the True Brewery Shopping Mall Complex is going to accomplish. Poor Dick Payne. Poor Dick Payne. Surely it should be grave Dick Payne. Grave for Dick Payne. Yeah, I find it so deeply distressing the symbol of wider problems in the world. Maximizing profit will always be considered more important than somebody being happy. There are so many people here today. Everyone's having a fucking great day. Great food, great music. You're gonna replace that with an area where people literally go to do the thing they wish they didn't have to do. How was your holiday? Not long enough. Well, why is it not long enough? Because they fucking hate their lives. We can't stop gentrification. It's like driven by well, such large market can't. forces. Yeah, well, I can't. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I'm just choosing not to. <laughs> why aren't you doing that sooner? Kind of like a non omnibenevolent god. If you had a superpower that would stop gentrification from happening, what superpower would that have to be? Socialism? <laughs> um, no, but Ian McKellen. Ian McKellen! He's paying as fuck. He's paying as fuck. That's the. <laughs> sorry. That's a kid. <laughs> I feel like I'm being a bad influence. I'm like fucking vaping. Worse. She could be like a drag queen reading books for kids. Yeah, that'd be that's, terrible. That's even worse. That's even worse. Drinking and smoking kids are like, oh, if they were to do that, that would be bad for them. So that's bad. I agree with that logic. But swearing, swearing is a social convention. Just yeah, yeah, decided yeah. it's inappropriate. Express feelings. I'm not saying you should swear at people and be like, you cunty fuckwank, right? Oh, I'm so sorry. That was actually poor. <laughs> But in general, <laughs> what can we do to actually save Brickley? There is this Save Brickley organizing group which launched a judicial review of the Truman Brewery shopping mall development last year, but they lost their judicial review. They were granted the right to appeal by a judge who seemed very sympathetic. So that's a good sign. They're fundraising for lawyers. Link in the description. Link in, link in the description. We need to raise money for lawyers, get a few grants together, we can do it. Let's go. Save Brick Lane. Ah. And big up the campaigners who have been doing this work for ages and ages and trying to preserve the character of Brick Lane and livelihoods to the people living here who need housing and good social development and not this fucking corporate office. That's These it. people are literally fucking saints. Like, yeah, they're dedicating they're their own time we met, we met. to do this. Lots of love. Save Brick Lane. How many margaritas before you open your legs? <laughs> Give me one margarita. I will just vomit on myself before that becomes an issue. Yeah, there's something about that song which we don't talk about enough. Six margaritas. And you get hang Six anxiety margaritas. the morning after yeah. and you just think about everything that you've done wrong. Six margaritas, I'll hate myself in the morning. I don't want that. Uh, no. uh, <laughs> we can't say that after that. Hit subscribe. Okay, no, no. Subscribe. Go donate. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah.